In this video, I will discuss how Facebook iOS 14 privacy settings will affect websites using the Facebook Pixel. So not Facebook ads in general, just the Facebook Pixel. There are a few changes, um, a few things that you need to know. And um, let's, let's see what's new, first of all, with these uh, privacy changes. Uh, well, the main thing that uh, is going to happen is that Facebook will not be able to use uh, information from their users before asking permission. This affects uh, Facebook app users and Instagram app users. Because of this, Facebook will have to change a bit how ads work and how um, custom audiences work, how uh, tracking works, and they will um, introduce something called uh, Facebook Aggregated Event Measurement Protocol, which according to Facebook, it's a protocol that allows measurement of uh, events generating from iOS apps for iOS 14 users. Uh, Facebook says that this solution is similar to Apple's private click measurement protocol, but is designed to uh, solve problems not addressed by Apple's proposal. Well, that's everything that we have right now. We, we don't know how it's uh, going to work, but I assume uh, it will allow Facebook to still understand what uh, users do after, what iOS 14 users do after they click on ads. Uh, there are two things that um, will be different in order to um, make this protocol new protocol work. Number one, you have to verify your domain inside Business Manager. This is um, it's a very simple procedure. We have a video on our YouTube channel and uh, there is a page on our website telling you how you can verify your domain using Pixel Your Site. Uh, watch it, it's very, very easy. And the uh, second thing that is going to be different, um, businesses will be limited to just eight conversion events for each domain. It means that if you currently use more than eight conversion events, you will have to reconfigure your uh, strategy. Um, Facebook will have a new section inside the events manager where you can uh, select which domains um, are active. Uh, in the beginning, they will automatically turn off events that are not that important, that their algorithm consider, consider not very important for uh, your account. So this is the main uh, difference. From now on, you will be able to use just eight conversion events. Uh, now, I get this question quite often. Will KPI, um, conversion API events bypass the iOS limitations? Well, no, not really. According to Facebook, events sent uh, via a, by the conversion API will also be proceed, processed in accordance with limits set by aggregated event measurement. The idea is that um, these limitations are not necessarily technical issues, technical limitations, but uh, legal and contractual limitations between um, Apple and companies using their um, platform. So if Facebook wants to keep their apps inside the App Store, they will have to uh, follow Apple's rules. So um, server-side events will not be a way to bypass these limitations. However, uh, conversion API are still very useful. They um, overcome uh, limitations from browser, browser privacy settings or uh, ad blockers. You, you should still use conversion API even if they don't bypass uh, iOS privacy uh, rules. Now, what about the Facebook pixel on your website? 
Well, in theory, you don't have to change anything, but you must plan to work with just eight events. For some businesses, this means uh, reconfiguring some custom audiences or custom conversions, review the events that you have and your custom audiences and custom conversions. If you have a, a very large number of events, you probably need to uh, reduce this number. And uh, Pixel Your Site has a major update. It's called V8, by coincidence. And uh, the new goal of the plugin is to help you track everything with just eight events. We've added a few new things. Uh, including a new section on the plugin's main page with uh, events counting. We, we're going to tell you how many active events you have configured with the plugin. We have uh, improved parameters across all our events that will help you easily create custom audiences or custom conversions with a limited number of events. We have added a visible on-off button to all our events and we have something quite new and uh, really useful uh, a new event we call the signal event which is designed to help you track every action with no extra events okay so this is uh, the plugins main page this is the new section telling you how many active events you have in total uh, you have right here we have two global events one events added from our events page and it's a link to the events page and seven WooCommerce active events. So it's just uh, an easy way to see how many events are there on your website. Uh, but uh, this is not the exact number of events say of, uh, you send to Facebook because uh, if uh, let's say a manually um, um, added events has uh, the same name as a WooCommerce event, it will be counted by Facebook only once. So you have to really check what event you sent. But this section will help you understand uh, with just a glance how many events you are using already. We've added this uh, section explaining the new parameters, which uh, I think is quite useful. And then we have what I was telling you before the new signal event. Before we explain the signal event, let me just show you another thing that we did. This is the WooCommerce tab. And if you scroll, you'll see the WooCommerce event and the very visible on off button. So it's easier to uh, turn on off events. If you click on each event, you'll see additional settings and details. We also uh, turn off by default some of the most, um, the, the least popular events we fire for WooCommerce. As you can see them here, if you want, you can turn them back on. Back to our main page. Let's explain a bit what the signal event does. So, in the past, the plugin was tracking uh, each action automatically with a dedicated custom event. We called uh, them the global events. We had a click event, a watch video event, many, 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 many events. Now we replaced all those events with a single one called a signal event. And this event has uh, very useful parameters that will help you identify each action. You, you can create custom audiences or custom conversions. For example, we have uh, a trigger or an action called um, internal clicks or external clicks with uh, two specific parameters, text and target URL. We have a watch video event a trigger. We have a telephone link clicks trigger. We have email links click trigger forms, user signups. Um, this is a, a trigger used for um, um, users signing up to your WordPress. So creating a WordPress account downloads, comments, adsense, clicks, and to, to uh, unselected triggers, but you can simply turn that on, uh, scroll, which you can change, and uh, time on page in seconds, which 
by default is 30. Again, you can simply turn them on, save. And now let's see just a simple example. Let me refresh this page. Um, if I scroll, I will have this signal event fired and uh, event action, you can see it's scroll 50. If I uh, click on this external link, we will have a new signal event. Event action, external link, text. This is an external link to pixel your site because that was the uh, text on the link. Um, some other parameters that might be useful. Uh, target URL, basically the link opened by the URL, the, the click. So the signal event, you can see it here, fire for uh, this nice Tesla video. The event action was video play. So this is how the signal event works. Um, it will track many, many actions and you can use it uh, to create custom audiences or custom conversions um, using various parameters that this event has. Back to the website. Another thing I want to mention, um, these changes are affecting not just the Facebook pixel, but all the tags. So you'll, you'll have the signal event on all your tags, Facebook, Google Analytics, Google Ads, Pinterest and Bing, if you have them um, configured. Why we do this? Well, the, the, the idea of the plugin is to let you track uh, the same data for all your tags. So if you track an event on Facebook, you can track it on Pinterest, on Google, on Google Ads, that's, that's, that's why we, we modify our default events for all the tags, not just Facebook. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is the main thing that we modified. This new single signal event is the one event that you need to track various actions. Now, my advice is to uh, update a plugin to V8 make sure you update um, add-ons if you have the pinterest add-on or the bing add-on um, because otherwise they will not work with this new version and then open your website browse your website and check with pixel helper what events are, are fired automatically uh, chances are you can turn off your old custom events and start to use the new signal event for custom audiences and custom conversions so just do what I did here, open your website, perform the action that is important for, for you, the action that you want to track, that you want to use for a custom audience or a custom, audience or a custom conversion. Check with Pixel Helper what uh, event you have for that action, check their parameters and think of uh, an easy way to create custom audiences or custom conversions. Uh, okay, so this is it. This is uh, what you should know. This is how uh, Pixel Your Site V8 will handle uh, um, the new environment. Now the plugin will be useful and it will help you track everything with a smaller number of events. We try to do this with under eight events.